Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us all the way across the pond to jolly old England, where a sovereign citizen pulls the American script out and it doesn't end very well. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Could you identify yourself, please? Sorry? Could you identify yourself? Yeah, PC Brown, Metropolitan Police Service, 3152 Tango. Thank you. Brother, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Yeah, fine. Thank you. Thank you. 2921 Northwest. Yeah. Thank you. Of course, we've got LED. Indicators, that's cool. Yeah. Could you take your mask off, please, and identify yourself? No, I'm sick. I'm not taking my mask off. Okay. Are you going to identify Thanks, yourself? Oh, I don't have to. You can see the shoulder numbers. Excuse Sorry? Me, you can see the shoulder numbers. Anyway, uh, this is a road legal. Yeah, the reason why you've been stopped is because you're riding a mechanical propelled vehicle on a public road, alright, you're not displaying licence plates, um, and clearly that's not, you've not got insurance to ride that on the road, and that's why we've stopped you, okay? Do you have your driving licence on you, and do you have proof of insurance if you have indeed insured it? Why do I need any of that? Because that's a mechanically propelled vehicle, and you were riding it on the public highway, so that's why you need it. That's not a reason. Yes, it is. I can stop you under section 165 of the Road Traffic Act. No, I'm free to travel. I have my right to travel, uninhibited by anybody, and it's even said so in my passport. Are you soft in the head? Uh, passports are meant for uh, international travel, you loony tune. And besides, you have the ability to travel freely throughout whatever country you live in but in many many countries you've gotta have a driver's license to operate a motorized vehicle and have be, been trained on the operation of said motor vehicle in fact in one country in particular you've gotta learn how to take that car apart down to its base components and sign your uh, life away to the Communist Party before they'll let you drive. And that country is North Korea. Be thankful you don't live there because they know exactly what to do with sovereign citizens should they enter their country. You would never be heard from again. Or uh, they just might send you to Kim Jong-un for some entertainment because I'm sure he needs some. I mean, who wouldn't want to laugh at a sovereign citizen's uh, antics? Right, so you are riding, okay, a mechanically propelled vehicle on a public highway, okay? You don't have any license plates displayed. You don't have any L plates displayed, okay? I can stop you on the public road and I can request your <coughs> driving license. If am you I, do not produce your driving license, okay, am I a man? I can and I will arrest you. Am I right? a man? Sorry? Am I a man? Are you what? A man. I don't know. Do you identify as a man? Yes. Do I look like a man? Well, that's up to you, sir. Okay, if you identify as a man, you no, identify it's a, as a man. It's I'm not asking me. for your driving license, sir. It's your perception that counts in this case. Would you say I'm a man? Do I think you're a man? No. I think you're more of an infantile moron who's trying to get out of uh, his responsibilities. Because a grown-ass man would understand that he has responsibilities and duties and perform those duties to the best of his ability. The codes that you are purporting to practice, does it refer to, apply to a man or a person? I don't get what you mean by does it apply to a man or a person? Do you know what a person is? Do I know what what is? A person is. A person is? Well, I would identify a person as a human being, like myself. No, that's not a person. Alright, so, besides the point, do you have your driving licence on you? It doesn't apply to me, I'm not a person. The stupid is definitely strong with this one. Sir, do you have a driving licence? Why would I have something that I don't need? Sir, so, okay, I'm trying to be reasonable with you, 
hand over your driving license, we can check, okay, <coughs> that you've got a driving license, you've got insurance, and then we can be on your way, all right? If you don't do that, then we have to escalate things and take it further by arresting you and taking you into custody. I don't if want you, to do that. If you touch my private property, or me, I'll be taking actions for redress, for correction, for interfering with something that you have nothing to do with. It's This is strictly private property. No. Well now, you see, the problem here is that your so-called private property is now on the public roadways and is subject to the United Kingdom laws and regulations governing the public roadways. So therefore, you have no standing in this situation and therefore, you are a complete dumbass. And I'm conducting my private business. That's a mechanically propelled vehicle. I didn't and invite... under the Road Traffic Act, you're riding on a public highway. You need to be fully insured. <sighs> you need a driving license. All right. If you don't have those things, you're committing offences that have to be dealt with. So I am asking you. All right. Do you have a driving license? I don't need any of those to travel. No, you do need a driving license. I don't need a driving license That's a to travel. That's a mechanically propelled vehicle on a public road. Okay. You need a driving license. Okay. Whether you like it or not, you need one. Okay? There's no like or dislike that comes that into it. Consensus. It's not your individual consent. It's I have general not, consensus. Not, and I haven't consented. It doesn't matter. It, it does matter. Consensus. All does contract, need the contracting party's signature of consent. Right. Have you got your And they must license? have full cognitive comprehension of what they're signing to. That contract bullshit, the... Uh, doesn't even work in the United States, my friend. What the hell makes you think it's going to work in the United Kingdom? I mean, what uh, lead paint chips have you been consuming that makes you think that? Where is the contract that you're purporting that I've broken and you're not making a claim? Do Where you is have a it? driving license? Where is the contract? Do you have a driving license? Where is the contract? So I'll ask you one more time before I arrest you for committing offences. You are a company that is trading for profit registered with Dun & Bradstreet and companies as just like McDonald's, Kentucky or Asda. Well, what I'm right? Asda and I'm not KFC right, and I'm yeah. not McDonald's. Because okay? you've got your own unique company registration number and I've served papers to your chief superintendent informing him of my position that I'm a traveller and you lot should interfere with my private travel. Do you have a driving licence? I guess you didn't get the memo. Do you have a driving license? No, interfere with my property, and it's warning here that you interfere with my property. You are conditionally accepting for me to sue each and every one of you for my private property. Why is explaining? Do you understand why he explains? Yeah. I don't understand anything the police put forward, but I'm telling you that's my private property. It's got nothing to do with any of them. You can make your claim and do what you want, bring out your buttons and your junction, but at the end, when it goes to court, it's my property. Yeah, fair enough. They have no interest in it, the, the, or the use, or the intent that I intend to use it for. The points that my colleague is making is that this is a mechanical proper um, device, yeah? I don't care what you want to call it, this but is my you, private property. Yes, fair enough, we, we know that, but to drive this kind of... Uh, I'm not driving. To ride. I'm not riding, I'm travelling. Yes, you're travelling, of course, but you're using the highway. And you need, you need to be licensed. It's my highway to use. It's my highway to use. Yeah, oh, it's your own private road. That makes all the difference in the world, doesn't it? Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. It's not your road at all. Do you actually own it? Because if you actually owned it, then you would have the authority to tear it apart if you so desired. Is it on your land? Is it on your property? Is it somewhere where you can uh, make it more convenient for others to use it? I mean, these are all the questions that somebody of a landowner like you should understand. Uh, but you know what? It's not yours. You're just another lame brain soft heart who thinks that the rules don't apply to him when they actually do do apply to you. Just suck it up, buttercup, and accept the ticket or whatever the hell they're going to give you before they arrest you, you moron. Regulation for that. No, the people who, who give the regulation, I give them authority, oh, they can use it. Not them come and tell me. You've I've got seen, it the I've wrong way around. I've seen, uh, I know what you're talking about. I've seen, I've seen what you're talking about. But, um, 
but the fact of the matter is that the law says that when you it's not a law it, it's codes it's practices only god made law and law are infallible you can't change them the laws of nature you can't change that what goes up must come down the car. but you now you can make your local rules and regulation yeah. which can be changed at any time that's not a law that's a code yeah. if you're going to kentucky they've got their local rules and regulation mm -hmm. you're going to mcdonald's you, you as another organization you've got your i'm not a member of your organization i've never signed up to your organization anything you purport to do it's got nothing to do with me unless i invite you yeah, but we uh, the country and London more um, precisely and it says our regulation says to be using the road uh, and when you're using a mechanical propelled vehicle you need to be licensed no not me a person needs to be licensed a person is a corporation so what are you? I'm a man created mm -hmm. by God the only authority Just above like me is moment. God okay you want to play the religion card too then huh you know what uh, some other people can play that and much better than you i'm not one of them i'm not very religious myself but uh yeah i've been told that uh romans 13 1 is the go-to verse if you want to play that card made by god you cannot be the same thing i know exactly what you're talking about i've read and I understand what you're talking about. Okay. The fact of the matter is, you know, make it make things easy. That's the that's the law. Listen. The law. Do you have a driver's license? Listen, I've got no driving license to give you. Okay. I've got no insurance to give you. Mm -hmm. I don't need them. I'm a private traveller. I take responsibility for my action. If I cause any harm, injury or loss, and it's reported, and I'm responsible, I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. Now, has anyone reported my causing them harm, injury or loss since this morning? I do not know. Okay, has anyone indicated that I've caused any problems? Well, so know. why are you interfering with my trouble? Well, you dumbass, because part of policing is preventing stuff like that from happening by keeping losers like you off the streets or getting them licensed and everything like that so they don't cause any issues you bonehead because we have certain laws and directives to follow and that's why we stop you which applies to persons you look in all your codes it never says a man or a woman it's always a person this and a person that and i've served papers and all your officials to let them know i'm not a person i'm a living man um, what reply did you get from these people they consented that i'm a living man okay and I've got the paperwork in my house to prove it. Do you have it downloaded on your phone or something? It's not downloaded, it's files that I've sent out to all these people and to the chief inspectors and the police and uh, the courts, uh, the treasury, the queen, the, dry, the um, DVLA, all of them have sent these paperwork. And what have they said? They've consented that they've got no authority in my trouble. Yeah, dude, uh, somehow I doubt they exempted you from following the rules and laws that everybody else has to follow in your country. Yeah, I sincerely doubt that. Please, Birmingham City Council, I've got uh, communication of them. I'm in communication with uh, London Police and I'm in communication with the Metro Metropolitan Bar of Police as well. I've sent them information, they've replied to me and I've got it in my files back at my place. You've got no right to be interfered with my travel. Yeah, have now, you been stopped before? Yes, and I've, and I've been traveling without it. And what, they, what did they say? What the officers say? Oh, we let you go this time, but next time we love you. There's no next time. Either I'm right or I'm wrong. And because I'm right and I've got no authority to interfere with my private property and my use of it, they make an excuse and they leave. That's it. So, you now... You decide whether you want to invite trouble on yourself for me to sue, not just all of you personally, but your chief commander, for him not instructing you not to interfere with my right to travel. So it's up to you. Let me go on my way or press your charges and do what you want. Steal my property, take me away like they used to do in slavery. But today you're not going to get away with it. Or you're going to let me go freely on my way to continue my trouble. 
comparing yourself to a slave, no, that's not exactly going to work. Because if you were a slave, well, right now you would definitely be receiving a beatdown for your insolence. I mean, back in the day, they wouldn't have had any issues uh, doing that. It is police. No. came from slavery when they used to run down the slaves that uh, and bring them back you are here on a corporate trip to suppress men and women no, and no, steal no. money from them oh, and the guise of there's a regulation and who made your regulation what's it got to do with me no. you can make as much as you want that, i ain't paying not, a penny a police is a no. imagine you are there supposed to be looking after the people but yet you are profit making organ or do you make profits what do you do to make profits mm -hmm. this you stop innocent people and steal from them. Under the guise of somebody wrote some regulation that has got nothing to do with me. Well, of course it has something to do with you, you mush head. Once you take your private property onto the public roadways, it has to be registered, insured, and everything like that to guarantee that if something does happen, people will be covered and everything it will be okay. But you don't want to play that game? Fine. Well, they can take your uh, vehicle and crush it into a cube, just as they tend to do to anybody in the United Kingdom that doesn't exactly want to follow the laws in there. And you need to deal with this at the roadside, where we prosecute you for riding, otherwise in accordance with license, not insurance, all right, or we arrest you, and we deal with it in custody at Wembley Police Station. And that means you get into a cell, sitting there until we're ready to interview and all that sort of stuff. The choice is yours, all right? Unfortunately, you can sit and say you're a free man, all the rest of it, whatever you want to say, but that's not going to get you out with this situation. So, are you going to produce your driving license or are you not? Are you going to answer my question? I'm not answering your questions anymore. You're my servant. You're uh, supposed no, to answer my question. Servant. I'm far from your servant. Are you not right? public servants? I'm not your servant, okay? I'm not you're your not a public servant? servant? I didn't I say personal. Public. You no, are no, my no. public servant to keep the peace. Right. Are you going to produce your driving license or not? I've got no driving license to give you. Do you need any of the keys off of you? Yes, I need all of them. Which ones would you like to take? All of them. Do you want me to just take the bike keys? No, I don't want to take any. Sorry? I don't want you to take any. You don't want to take any? No. Oh, well, I'm going to have to. Uh, so you're going to steal my property without my permission? I'm recording it, by the way. Well, that's all right. I'm not stealing anything. I'm taking the keys so that we can... Uh... You're denying me the use of my property. That's theft. You have thought about it and you decided to do it anyway. That's theft. And there's me without my property and the use of theft. Quite right, I'm here at home. You want to arrest those as well? Do you want those keys? Arrest an inanimate object. Well, he's doing it, isn't he? Is there anything you want to take off it? Is there anything that you want to take off it before we take it? Everything. I want to take everything off it and take it home. So you're taking my property yeah. and I'm doing a conditional acceptance that you can take that mm -hmm. and the basis that you pay me £5,000 a day each and every day until it's returned. Oh, you delusional moron. I don't think you'll get even a pence out of that. Not even that. It may be worth a pence after they uh, put it through the crusher. But they'll keep it uh, to themselves as part of their stupid tax. £5,000 a day until my property is returned. That's my conditional acceptance. Sorry, um, who did you say you were? I'm Acting Sergeant James Bishop. And, and who is this? This is uh, one of my colleagues. Can you identify yourself, please? You're here at the scene. I've already been here. Is it you that scene? Oh. He's he done one. the high angle view. He doesn't want to give his information. Tell him he's a public servant. And when the public asks, you should volunteer that information. No, he's got his uh, child numbers displayed. That's the main thing. No, when he's asked, you're supposed to reply and say it. Okay. Suppose the person can't read. Here, are still in my property. And the unlawful... I've been told in case that your property doesn't... It's uninsured. I don't need insurance to travel. I have a right to travel unimpeded, without insurance. I don't need to pay tax. I don't care what it is, it's my private property and nobody has a right to my private property. Okay. And I've sent some papers to your chief police officer hmm. for him to amend the record so this stuff doesn't happen again. Okay. Uh, Birmingham, I've accepted 
and change the record. London Metropolitan Borough and uh, London Police, I mean, negotiated for them to correct the record so this does nothing again. Mm. I'm not a person, I'm a living man. All the codes you're purporting to apply, they're for persons. Mm. So I'm in a different jurisdiction and you're crossing now to interfere with a living man and I'll be seeking redress in the High Court plus the £5,000 a day fee until my private property is returned. And well, that's where the video ends, folks. He got his vehicle impounded due to his own stupidity and it probably got crushed by now. I mean, that's something right there. Hopefully it got crushed. Maybe it'll teach him a lesson in the future. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.